Hi, I'm Jeff, and you want to know how to delete box symbols in Microsoft Word. Now, I probably know what you're talking about here. Every so often, you're going to be typing along, and uh, instead of a letter, you get just a square, an empty blank square. Uh, in some cases, in more modern applications, you get a square with a question mark in it, or just a question mark in, in certain cases. Basically, what this means is that the font that you're typing in doesn't actually include the character that you typed. You can see here that I've got the uh, font dialog box open, and I've chosen a font that I like called Tree Frog. Now, I've used accents. I've used letters with accents in what I've written, and you see that they show up as those little squares because Tree Frog doesn't have those accents. It's okay uh, because in most cases, in most modern applications like Microsoft Word, uh, you're going to see that it will replace those with the same character, the character you want, in a different font. You can see here that it's put it into Times New Roman. Basic font. So I still have those characters with the accents. They're just not in the right font. Now, there's nothing you can do about that short of actually making a font yourself that includes those accents. Uh, you can't just make the font include those accents. Uh, it'll do, Microsoft Word will do what it can to make sure you have that. Uh, on the other hand, if you're seeing boxes, there's also another possibility. It's that the encoding, the kind of data that you're opening, is not what Microsoft Word is expecting. I have another file here. This is a text file. And you can see that even though every so often you'll see an actual recognizable word, uh, most of it looks like gibberish. Uh, this is not the way that Microsoft Word likes to read documents, and so you get all kinds of weird characters, including those little square boxes. Uh, way, one way that you can actually avoid that kind of thing is simply by opening things using specific encoding. Uh, you can see here that I'm opening, and I'm going to open a text file, uh, and I can change the encoding to decide what it is. Uh, the Windows default encoding does decently. There are still some weird characters there. The MS-DOS encoding, again, decently, still some weird characters. Uh, there's a whole list of different encoding schemes here, and you can probably find one which looks best for you. Uh, you're probably not going to find one that transforms a text document to perfect Microsoft Word, no problem. Uh, it's just how data works, and you don't have to worry about it. I'm Jeff, and this is how to uh, take care of those box symbols in Microsoft Word.